Hello everyone and welcome on to another exciting moment that we're going to be sharing together concerning our LED light. My name is Tata of course and today we are going to be presenting to you one of our latest model street lights and it's called the ST33 street light. That's all we have behind so let's do this. So here we have three models of our ST33. We have here the small we have here in the middle the medium and we have here the large the light materially is made of die casting aluminium and we use this material because it fights against corrosion it's an anti-corrosion material this this lamps can that has an input voltage of from 100 to 277 volts and the lamps can be powered from 40 volts up to 200 volts. All right. And of course, has a protection rate of IP66. Talking about the, the lighting itself, we'll begin with the glass. We use the tampered glass because it's strong and durable. And we use this because it helps in preventing rain and dust to get into the system. Now we are going to talk about the PC lens we have inside. Here is the PC lens we use in the, in the lighting. And the PC lens has three types. We have the type 2, type 3, and type 5. And of course, it has multiple beam angles. Okay, now inside of it, we have the chips board. And we use the SMD. 30 30 and of course it has a high luminary efficiency of over 130 lumens per watt so that is it okay now i want us to look at this this is the spirit level the spirit level it helps in maintaining like during installation to have the angle of adjustment so with this spirit level, you can easily adjust the, the angle of the light. All right, so that is it. Let's talk about the intelligent operating system of this light. And talking about that, this is the NEMA base. And this is the, the DAGA base. For the NEMA base, we have the shutting cap, which of course functions as the switch of the system. So you switch the system and the lights then operate. Then this other one is the photocell sensor. It's optional, you can need this as well as you might not. And its function is to automatically turn on the light and shut off the light. So in case, in case you have a breakdown in this photocell sensor, you can go back and you can put your shutting cap and you will take back the light to its normal operating system. And this way, you will manually turn on or turn off the light. All right, coming to this other one, we have this, this photo cells, and it is the dagger. We, that goes with DALI, and you have the 0 to 10 volt dimming. All right, so you can as well feed it this way, when you feed it this way, it will automatically turn on or turn off your... And you can choose to use the Daga Dali or to use the 0 to 10 volt dimming. All right. So without that, we send the system with this. So this is the just for um, waterproof to prevent rain from entering into the system. All right. Now, you might want to see the interior of the system. So I'm going to pluck it open and we are going to see how the interior looks like. And it is simple. With these buttons that we included here, it makes it very easy to open and close the lamp. And this is how you do it. You just plug this open. All right, so the lamp is open. And of course, inside we have the search protect. 
and we have the, the driver and other components of the lamp. All right, so that's how the interior looks like. Of course, like I said in the, in the beginning, it has a very good ventilative system for heat dissipation. Okay, so to close, it's very simple. You just, all right, so that is it. Now we are going to turn on the light and we, at the same time, we're going to show how this uh, intelligent functioning system operates. All right, so here I have my, here is already the cable. So I just need to plug into the system. Okay, it is plugged and power on. You see the light is not on. The light can come, can't go on because we need to feed in our shutting cap. All right. So with the shutting cap, like I said earlier, it will just connect the light and the light will go on. All right, so that's the shutting cap. So using the shutting cap, you will manually have to turn on the light or turn off the light. But that's different with the photocell sensor. And we are gonna plug in the photocell sensor and you'll see. All right, plugging in the photocell sensor, which of course is automatic. All right, so it will not be on because it has daylight. So the only reason why it can turn on the light is by closing the, so when we close it and we hold it for a while, the light will go on. All right, you can see, because the, the lens is closed, the lights are on. So if I take off my hand from the lens, the light will go off. All right, the lights are off, okay. That is it. And same goes with the Zaga. Uh, DALI and 0 to 10 volt dimming. Now I will have to tell you about the certificate. So the certificate that comes with this light is the ENEC certificate, the CE certificate, the CB certificate, and the ROS certificate. And applicability, you can use these lamps on trunk roads, you can use them on the streets, you can use them on bridges, you can use them on highways, and you can use them in um, sidewalks, and you can as well use them on bicycle lanes and many other areas that you deem necessary to use the slides for. All right, that will be it for the day. I believe I have been able to exhaust um, the operating system and the functionality of this light and I believe it was very helpful for you. You can always contact us or ask us your questions if you have any doubt about the system. You will follow the link below and forward your messages and of course we will respond to you as soon as we get them. So that will be it for today and until we meet another time with something different it is a bye-bye for now.